Most pilots know the Aviat Husky is a modern, tandem seat bush plane capable of operating in and out of short and rough fields, but not so many know the history of this American-made aircraft. Picturesque Afton, Wyoming has always been at the center of adventurous travel. Founded by Mormon settlers, Afton is located just off the Lander Trail, a cutoff of the Oregon Trail, and the first wagon road built by the U.S. government. A shortcut to the California gold fields, today Afton is home to Aviat Aircraft, manufacturers of the Husky, Pitts, and Eagle Sport and Utility Aircraft, or the current generation of adventurers. But before we discuss the modern aircraft, let's go into the rich background and history of this amazing company. In the 1930s, the Call family, Afton ranchers and gas and oil distributors, built Polaris snow machines, the predecessor of what we know today as the snowmobile, for their friends and their own recreational use. In 1939, when Mr. Call learned to fly, he discovered that aircraft of the day had challenges with both the high altitude and rugged environment of the area. So he decided that he could build a purpose-built mountain flying machine. He began building the low-wing strut-braced A3, and he called his company Call Air. However, at the opposite end of the country, in Homestead, Florida, Curtis Pitts was producing the Pitts Special biplane. He was producing plans, kits, and components, as well as actual turnkey aircraft. About that time Rockwell became interested in buying Call Air, Curtis Pitts had a similar set of unusual circumstances. Pitts's aerobatic airplanes were not type certified, and his production facility was not FAA certified. Call Air came up with a plan to solve the problem in both Afton and Homestead, a joint venture. The deal was structured so that Afton would take care of all the sales, manufacturing, and production of the Pitts Special, and Curtis would take care of the engineering and FAA issues from Homestead. The type certified Pitts series that began with the S1S were all Pitts' designs and were all produced in Afton. With the S2A in production, and Pitts planes the most desired aerobatic planes in the world, Frank Christensen of Hollister, California, wanted to buy the Pitts factory in Afton, which was called Aerotech at the time, and was a division of Pitts Aviation Enterprises in Homestead. A deal could not be consummated. In coming up short in buying the factory, Christensen, who was very interested in sport aviation aerobatics, did the next best thing. He created the Eagle II biplane kit, based on the Pitts S2A, combining well laid out plans and all needed parts and supplies, changing kit building forever. The S2A and Eagle were both successful and active in sport aerobatics. Pitts and Christensen were essentially competitors. When Pitts retired, his partner in Afton, Doyle Childs, bought his interest in the company. Childs then offered to sell the company to Christensen who bought the interest in the early 1980s, and the name was changed to Kristen Industries. Christensen consolidated production of the Pitts models and the Eagle in Afton and created the S2B, an enhanced version of the S2A. As biplane sales began to slow, Christensen was interested in obtaining rights to the Piper Super Cub. With Piper wanting over $1 million, a deal fell flat so in 1985, they decided to design their own bush plane from scratch and name it the Husky. He surveyed Piper Cub owners to learn what they did and didn't like about the airplane. Christensen and his design team then set out to create an enhanced, clean sheet airplane, improving on what was good and getting rid of what was bad in the Piper Cub's design. In 1986, they began the project. In 1987, the Husky was FAA certified. The Husky went into production in 1987. Napkin sketch to FAA certification to commercial production took less than 18 months, a feat nearly impossible today. In 1991, when Christensen was ready to retire, the company was sold to an Englishman, Malcolm White, and it became Aviat Inc. In 1995, after seeing an ad in the New York Times, then 
commercial real estate developer Stu Horn purchased Aviat. The name was changed to Aviat Aircraft Incorporated. Resembling the Super Cub in appearance and dimension, the Husky nevertheless had significant changes. Fuselage structure, 180 horsepower Lycoming engine with constant speed prop, and modified airfoil with four position, semi-fowler single slotted flaps. The power, prop, airfoil, and general aerodynamic cleanup gave the Husky a 25 mile per hour higher cruise speed than the Cub, while retaining a slow stall speed of only 42 miles per hour. The original A1, with its 1,800 pound gross weight, Spartan interior, non-existent heater, and one coat of enamel, has been continuously improved upon in the last 30 years of development. The need to increase the useful load was the beginning. In 1999, with the A1A going from 1,800 to 1,890 pounds gross weight, in 2000, the A1B the gross weight went to 2,000 pounds. 2005 saw an all-new, innovative wing design, introducing a 60% span flaps, as well as an aerodynamically balanced aileron design, eliminating the spade. The new aerodynamically balanced aileron increased the aircraft's roll rate, as well as low-speed handling roll authority. 2007 saw the introduction of the A1C, further increasing gross weight to 2,200 pounds, a new larger door with outside locking door handle, veneer mixture and propeller controls, and LED landing and taxi lights. 2012 saw one of the greatest improvements to the Husky yet. Gross weight increased to 2,250 pounds in concert with a new shock dampened landing gear system, controlling rebound, and increasing controllability. And bringing us current, the 2018 Husky, sporting the latest in Garmin Glass Avionics. An all new redundant cable trim tab system replacing the outgoing bungees. Decreasing stick forces as well as trim workload. Extended landing gear, increasing propeller clearance, and offering much greater stability. We've also addressed both pilot and passenger seats. Starting in the rear, a quick release pin system allows the entire rear seat and seat frame to be removed, allowing over 35 cubic feet of storage space. And in the front, full fore and aft adjustability, accommodating a much wider range of pilot heights as well as pilot seat back articulation, allowing for easier passenger entry and exit. Further refinements include an integrated throttle quadrant, allowing one-handed operation of throttle, mixture, and propeller. Aviat has been recognized for the relentless dedication of over 50 talented artisans for their innovation, craftsmanship, and superb quality of the most robust, safest, and best performing aircraft in the world. Husky means more. And to the over 6,000 Aviat aircraft owners, we here want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of your family's memories and experiences for all of these decades.